In this lesson, we are going to learn about what a diary entry is. We're going to learn why they are written, what features they have, and how they are different to other forms of writing. So why write a diary entry? Diaries are written for several reasons. Pause the video now and see if you can think of any. Now let's see if any of your ideas match mine. So diaries might be written to express your feelings. They might be written because you feel safer talking to your diary than a real person. You might have something that you want to get off your chest or something that you want to keep record of. Maybe that's something really exciting that's happened in your day to day life that you want to remember and look back on. Now we're going to think about the features of a diary entry. Pause the video again and see if you can think of the five features used in a diary entry. So let's go through and see what the features are. We have chronological order, where I would put the events in order of time of what had happened during the day. We would use past tense. So remember you're recounting and retelling the events that have already happened. I would show the character's emotions using tell and show not tell. So I would discuss how the character was feeling and their emotions, or I might show actions towards how they are feeling. I would speak in an informal tone using colloquial language. For example, I might use contractions. Think about how Hogarth might speak. You would also speak in the first person, remembering to use the pronouns I, me, us and we. You should now be able to see a diary entry on the screen. I'm going to read you this diary entry. And once I've done that, I'd like you to pause the video again and see if you can identify the five features which are listed above. Dear diary, I had the most disastrous day ever today. You won't believe what happened to me. I woke up all positive and sharp. The sun was shining off my nib and I could smell fresh paper in the air. The day had started so well until crash. Duncan's dog, Spike, hit the shelf with such force that I tumbled down onto the cold, hard floor. Before I knew it, I was in Spike's mouth, shaking from side to side like a chewy dog toy. Could life be any worse? I had to ask. Have you ever been eaten and then spat out? Well, that's what happened to me. And let me tell you, it's disgusting. I barely recognise my tan self. I should be seeing the world, colouring chocolate in Africa, shading in the stumps of the Amazon, or colouring the brown bears of Canada. Green crayon is off dyeing the pitch at Old Trafford. Yellow crayon is travelling around Egypt. And where am I? I am stuck here with that horrid mutt spike. I would rather be snapped in two than spend another second in the jaws of that beast. All I want is some peace and quiet. Sat on my shelf next to my best friend's glue and ruler. I wonder what tomorrow will bring. It can't be as bad as today was, right? Not so tanned crayon. Okay, so have a go and see if you can identify the features. Now let's go through and see what they were. So the opening address is Dear Diary, so I've highlighted that in yellow and that has been used. 
The pink highlights show the pronouns used. So they've used the first person, they've spoken in first person using the personal pronoun I. It has been written in chronological order. They've used time adverbials to identify each little event. So the day had started so well until before I knew it. The um, turquoise highlights um, show where emotion has been used. Okay, so his day was so disastrous. He felt positive and sharp until. The red highlights use past tense. We can see this because they've used the ed suffix. And finally, they have said what they would like to happen in the future. So they have used future goals. In your plans, there is a second diary entry. I would like you to have a go and identify the features on your own.